Hey, Mr. Goldstein. Don, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You're witnessing history. Don, you look great, and you Thank still got that tone. Well, Bill right. King's here, and he brought Liz. Yeah. Wow, nice. tremendous. My wife is over there. Hi, Howard. <laughs> Teresa. Set this whole thing up. Yeah, I did. Spur the moment. Like, last minute. We just kept super much with this thing. Yeah, it's not my Bill's been here before, right? Oh, yeah. He's so excited. This is a great place. Oh, it's a good place. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I've right got now. them. Right. The I could have worn a classical piano. That's my thing. All right. But I don't want to be okay. this, this was 119 <laughs> bucks. I used to yeah. think they were calling the you bus. You might need to outside. It works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm it's not killer. even bad. Did you do the bus column? Yes, I did the, I the bus that. column, which was this kind of gossip that, that didn't work out. I did it for 20 years. That was my thing. It's just, oh, man. I just got it over at Christmas holiday. Is that what they got to? That was fun. Oh, yeah. His friends about. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's really fun. Every week, what you do is just find little funny things going so on. Yeah. Yeah. Right there we are. Yeah. 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 The only thing is, as time went, this, time this is now, right? right? Today. Yeah. It got harder to make jokes because yeah. now people are so It's about a minute ago. And the last couple of years that I did, and it was kind of stressful because I just realized that stuff I wrote even 10 years ago is just right now. Yeah. And it's not as good as anything bad, but you couldn't mention This is great having this. Everything really came yeah, together. I mean, just everything was just well, kind over of... Over 2018, yeah, so technology-wise. Yeah. Things I always dreamt yeah. of that yeah. didn't yeah, exist yet. Yeah. That yeah. now, yeah. now do, like being able to switch cameras. I kept them all, too. I got them. Here's all our uh, camera things. Joan Bloom is out there. I just... I don't know who owns the rights to it. I just self-published. What do you mean you can't tune in? You're, you're tuned in right now. You're going to be watching wrestling. Okay, well... To, <laughs> jump, jump in once in a while, like like Jack Horahoe. See, now here's our. Yeah. We've got uh, we've got all our camera angles for you tonight. Nice old camera. And uh, the first one we like to start out with is our hair camera to check my part. Let's see it. It's dead on. A little crooked, Howard. No, I don't know about that. Hang on. No. It's a little fuzzy for the front. It was beautiful. I mean, it's straight. It kind of makes it's good enough for 1080p. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of tough, like, yeah. so you got all the angles covered. We have all the angles covered. And just like Louie said, here's our corner shot right here. And uh, here, I'm going to move this down into my, my producer's spot. And then over here, this is called the shoulder cam, cause, so I can remember what it's called. It's looking over my shoulder. It's looking at Teresa. Good name. There she is waving. And this is particularly important for a little later when the lounge cadets tend to gather around the piano. And this is, I call this the far cam because it's farther away. You could, you could see right across the lounge, you could see across the VIP table where a lot of celebrities hang out. Oh, he'll be here. That's Barry. He's a. He'll be here. Yeah, his name is Barry. He, he's a surgeon. Oh, no. okay. Yeah. He's an actually respectable guy, and he's ruining our reputation. He comes in here, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then we have our. Uh, now this is a good one here. Watch this. We have our split cam. Yeah, well, you know, we we see what what's needed. It, it evolves every week. There's usually some new technical things. Good point. Yeah. Well, we got off to a. We hit the ground running tonight at Lounge Academy, here and in the home audience, the Lounge Cadets. She is in good standing. Let's try to keep it that way. Do you guys know Louie? You had a chance to say hello to Louie? Yeah, that's awesome. I think you should keep that on. That's... So I bet it's exactly how you imagined it. She did. I guess she did imagine it this way. 
I can't even describe it. I don't know how anybody could imagine it. Everyone needs one of these, right, Don? You, li you like the uh, the building out front? That's the best. That's all under its own separate licensing. And you could be, you could be, not yet, no. It might have its own nine digit. Yeah, but the, the thing is, Don, that could be anything at any minute. Could it be a music store? Yeah, it could be anything. It's licensed to, for, to be anything. And I've got my own sign-making equipment and uniform-making equipment and hats. And your own so you could turn it into anything. Yeah, we, so we could, the, you know, the sides, the walls. Do you still have your printer? We, there's Ethernet. I do. I do have that. Want it? <laughs> Just think of it. It's right out on the sidewalk where you can you can trial balloon things on real downtown movers and shakers. The bags got right by weddings. Yeah, you're. Uh, are you uh, ordained? I was for a week. <laughs> that, that well, week. Yeah. yeah, well, I can. I, I, I can imagine. <laughs> so you guys like Bailey's Irish Creek? Thank you. Yeah, it's Help yourself. It's right in there. Plus a basement. Yeah, it was a single house and then it was a, a rooming house with a gin mill for a long time. Then it, you know, then it became bigger restaurants with, without the other stuff. We, we don't even know. We know it was already here in the 1850s, you know, and I, they they modified it after that. I think they added the Queen Anne front and kind of remodeled everything. It's a good idea. too much. There's just a couple pipes in the basement that aren't even hooked up to anything anymore. I threw some of them out. There's still a couple up there. Pipes. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's the whole idea. What I want to do is I don't... I don't have it open to the public yet, but I've got the front yard open, you know, with the with the booth. So what we'll do is we'll, we could bring in whatever works out there and do the same thing. Same thing. Have a different businesses on different days of the week. I'm going to do this on Friday nights. I'm just going to commercialize it. Yeah. 
Yeah, just fix it up a little, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you, Jay? Ray Emmerman walked by, and Tom Sutton, Kathy Moses, who's going to be on the show a little later in the evening, as well as Barry. How's the airplane? You, you use it year round? I use it all the time, yeah. It's fine every day. It probably loves this cold air. Yeah. Well, we're all I guess technically I'm still a student pilot. You never lose it. Yeah, that's fun. Actually, I didn't really study. I did, I've got some hours in. in fixed wing, including weird jet time. I've got some weird things I accumulated. Yeah, a weird 23. Those were cool. They were the, like, the... Yeah. And, uh, but then I took helicopter lessons. I, I didn't, I didn't take, formally take fixed wing. I just, a friend of mine was, uh, used to let me jump seat, and he was flying freight for a, I should for a, company called called Evergreen that was a, actually a front for the CIA. Yeah. And they had the weird jets. Those weird jets, man. All I wanted to do was grow up and have a weird jet, you know? They were so cool. <laughs> those, those things they had um I don't remember how we described it. They weren't they were kind of like a pure, more of a pure jet than a, a turbo or something. So to make them run as efficiently as possible, you had to get up to 40,000 feet, like right away. So it was like an Estes rocket. You'd go up and then we come over Miami and it's like, there's, you can see the airport down like 40,000 feet below you. And then you come down just about, you know, that's what it felt like. One time I was flying it. There's always action here. It's like being in a cowboy movie. Once they let me take it, it, you know, just level flight, and yeah. just to maintain, and it's like, you know, like really, you know, you just can imagine. We're going to, it was like, Mach, Mach point something. You know, it was measured in Mach, which was pretty cool. Like your one No, we were 23. I probably told you the story a hundred times back in the day. Which? When I got to fly a Learjet. No. Oh, big yes. Yes. And then the chief pilot and the uh, engineer or whatever it was, co-pilot or engineer, there were only a crew of two, and then me jumping. They started getting into a fight, and they hated each other. And I'm flying the thing, and they were like threatening to go to blows. <laughs> you know, and it's like, and it's middle of the night. It's just, I see it's black, and you're just watching the gauges. And so, <laughs> it was fun. Luckily, they... They, they didn't like beat the shit out of each other because I wasn't too experienced with it. What's the chances of getting a B3 down here? Well, like, all it takes is money and <laughs> mover. Where did this piano come from? I, I bought it off Craigslist. Six foot I didn't even have the power on in the building and I bought it. Yeah, it's a six, 
6-2, I believe. Yeah, what kind is it? Walt A. Mignon. Walt? Walt A. Mignon. Yeah, W-E-L-T-E. Mignon, like filet mignon. There's so many piano names. It was originally, it was built to be a reproducing piano. Oh, does it? But I, I had it spayed. Okay. Is all the junk on the bottom of it? Yeah, the tuner thought, the tuner who was familiar with this brand, he actually owned one, and a rebuilder, um, he thought it might have, they might have torn the guts out because it's a 1929, he said they might have torn the guts out at the factory just so they could sell it in the, during the difficult uh, economy. Because it looks like a factory, you know, the panels that cover up the parts and stuff. Don, you don't have to do that. You're not working for me anymore. <laughs> Unless you want to. Well, you know. Just don't expect the paycheck, ladies. <laughs> Put it, put it on. So, somebody's got to wear that. I've been trying to get rid of it. And no, that's, you got to wear that when you come here. I think it looks good. That's lounge all the way. That's great. You want to try the hat? This heart of mine was doing very well. Beautiful. I mean, that is that says Lounge Academy, yeah. isn't it? Hi, Bernard Stevens. How are you, sir? Nice to see you, Bernie. Is Ray out there? Oh no, Kathy's out in in Las Vegas with Nick. Before there was Kathy. I'm glad you're tuned in, Kathy. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine. As far as I could tell. You got natural reverb. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of gay amour. At dawn I woke up singing. Sentimental overture This heart of mine Is dancing gaily now I taste the wine Of sweet romancing now Crazy world has taken on A wonderful design As long as life endures It's yours this heart of mine All right, so I had a problem just before Christmas and I'm the organist at our church Thank you ladies and gentlemen of the church You're listening to me right now And I know that you, you read chord symbols pretty well So I had this, we had to play this thing called Sun at Night And it starts out with a C chord and then goes to an F and then it goes to a C and an F, and then they, right here, they give it to you. There's, there was a chord that had a C, number seven after. What are you supposed to do with it? I think you play it after, after the six. I told him you play it. Play them in order. I said you play it seven times. Yeah, it's like the square root. So you play, when you get to the C7, you play it seven times. Yeah, it's um times times itself seven times. Okay. It could 
It could be Spanish. It could be Spanish. It could be Spanish. It's right there. It's a C7. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know C7. I don't know. Gotta be kidding me. It's C and then it says, yeah, hash. It's, it's, for, it's for Instagram. I know, I can't keep up with that stuff. Hashtag this, hashtag that. Okay, let's show off her down. We're gonna take We'll play songs. We'll read music out of a book. The show Don Missile at Lounge Academy is all about. We're here at the piano with my co-host, Mary Kunz Goldman, Lounge Cadets Don Missile, Bill King, all three show business wonders. So stick around. Yeah. We used to see him 
when we got our car service. His son usually tunes into the show from Virginia. He does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down there, I was so I was so mic shy. You? Yeah. It's a good thing I'm not on that thing now. We saw a lot of Yeah. We put our bell out of business. I've got a camera for that. I think I'm going to have to leave well enough alone, Don. A lot of technical things go wrong, and a lot of them you got to just surf them. Because, you know. Right. Uh, technology. Am I blue? Am I blue? Ain't these in these eyes telling you? Am I blue? Paris, how are you, sir? Great to see you. My old pal from the Stalbert. I'm glad you're with us tonight. Paris is out there, ladies and gentlemen. Great guy. I miss working with him, too. Am I blue? Am I blue? Big blue. 
we at Big Blue? We're down in Bill and Louie and Mary. The Buffalo Jill, she used to practice outside your oh. office. Yeah, yeah, that was so disruptive to the workplace. I'm paying 10 people. And the, the Jill's come along and me included, we're, we're just shocked. Was it Tuesdays? I mean, we had the best seats. Because our, our office kind of like, per, can I... Project, it, projected, any number of metaphors, and, and then uh, Todd Croce, who was, he, he was the bachelor in the group, or at least the ones that caught him once in a while. I think he arranged it or something, didn't he? He was bringing them in and photographing them. Does this brother still have the Sandler? Yeah. In fact, if you park in one of these lots, you'll find your car um, chalked with $150. Have you ever run into him at the uh, airports? Yeah, I see him a lot. He lives outside me. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, he got really serious in the planes. He blames me. He says, because when, when I was doing the helicopter, he got into it. Who are you to wear? Hoshkosh. Hear that, Don? Hoshkosh. You can only get there by plane. Or a car. Don, you must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. I still have a couple pieces of that. I think it's flammable. I don't think they allow it anymore. The fundamental things apply. As time goes by. And when two lovers move, they still say, I love you. I love that. I love that. On that you can rely. I just can't get over that. I'm looking across the piano at Don Missile. I'm thinking the same thing. Oh, that, yeah, he's, that would have been something else. He's been down here, not not on a, not on the show. He, he came in once, and I just showed him the room. But he's playing with the cocks. He's playing with the cocks. Tonight? Oh, they're gigging tonight. Yes. Nice.
It is Frank de Cesare, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Show Business himself. Does it all? He does. He's an anchor man. He's a filmmaker. He's a photographer. He's a vintage photography dude. He's got some nice Leica equipment. No, Frank de Cesare. Harry gets a different introduction that he wrote. Teresa's cutting the cake. Beautiful wedding cake there. I feel like I'm in 
Rocky Horror Show. The name of Wedding Cake. How little we know. How much to discover. What chemical forces flow, very from lover to lover. How little we understand. What touches off that tail? That sudden explosion when two tangles is a tangle. Who cares to define? Chemistry, this is. Who cares with your lips and mine? What if our implicit is as long as you kiss me and the world around us shatters? How little it matters. How little we know. How little we know. How's the audio, friend? This says our name, Mr. Engineer. Sound okay? Any distortion or anything? I want to know 
about is Williams. What was his first name again? Black Cat. And his wife and his daughter. Mike Williams. Mike Williams. Now Williams, anytime you have a, a, a first a last name that's really a first name. Yeah. Or the name of a city. Could be a problem. Yeah. He got in trouble with Bill Gates. Yes. They had this computer company. Wholesale computers out. Software and stuff. When he just likes it there. Yes, you could buy a DOS on almost five and a quarter or three and a half. And he used to have Chinese plays on it. Yeah, I just love it. And then he would sell them for 50. Anyway, they caught up. Justine Jopp, ladies and gentlemen. Justine Jopp says, Wait, wait, night for me at West Hair. But I'm aim to visit this month. See more. I'm jonesing for Mary Kunz Goldman. And then she sings it XOX JJ. Because she's just in job. Christmas and some people came by because we had we had a lot of momentum with the public. Remember that pink sign we had? I don't have a picture of that sign. Oh no. I don't have a picture of it. You could see this thing from Canada. I'm talking about the hotel. You used to be the old mo huge motel sign. But we painted it. It said computers. It was bright pink. It was, it was like this huge... And then when the town came down to give us the permit for the sign, you guys moved computers into the lobby of the, of the building, like the main lobby that wasn't ours. And we filled all these other windowed offices with our equipment so we could claim it was our how much of the street footage we had. So they'd multiply it by three feet, and that was how many square feet of sign we could have. So we wound up getting this... But remember those old motel signs, how big they were? This thing was a monster, and Vincent was going to like tear it down or something. We said, hang on, we'll use it. And it still had the motel neon on there. We went up there, and we took it all off and made it smooth and primed it. And I bought this pink um, quartz of this pink poster paint. It looked radioactive. It was the brightest paint. You know, it was like day glow paint. And we, we painted it, and then we got the vinyl graphics made, and it said, computers, exclamation point. Yeah, with a little Goldman's in script up in the corner. So they knew where to go. And you could, see, you could see that from Niagara Falls Boulevard. Yeah, you could. And people just started pulling in. And some TV, or was it, wait, no, it was um, Computer City. 
Oh, when you were taking oh. All you saw was our sign. Yeah, we had Todd with a suit on standing there in the aisle, so they threw us out. Remember when I used to make people stand in the traffic island with a computer? I think the town came by and told us we had to stop. I think we got in trouble for that one where they threatened me. We didn't know we didn't know the rules. But I remember that that was that was tough that week when uh, Christmas season people come by they're ordering their computers and I had to figure out how to build them. I remember calling you and and Don, how do you put in? I think I had, had to ask you like how to put in a hard drive. I didn't even know how to do that. And he walked me through it on the phone. You know. And then I learned how to do it. And then I, I moved into that office in Williamsville. When people would carry their stuff in and I would just fix them up. You know, that business actually did well. Yeah. It was I was bringing in like fifty grand a year with that. Which was a fortune to me because I really needed it after going through all of that. I had creditors, every other I mean every nine out of ten calls were from creditors, you know. But that, that computer thing worked, you know? It does, it did. But you know what? I always, a lot of times I think back. I mean, it all worked out. You know, eventually I got into something that worked, you know, and used all that experience. But I think back of like, how could we have made that work? That, you know what the key would have been? We should, we, should have, we should have done the spy business, the spy store business, you know, and bought all our stuff from... Uh, from spy outlet and, got, and and done it mail order because I did that a few years later I did mail order and that's that's what pulled me out of the funk yeah I did mail order spy gear but it was by then it was it was my first website so it was like it was e-commerce they'd see it and they'd call up and I'd write them up just like we were selling them a synthesizer did you sell them sunglasses with them we had we had the sunglasses the the see behind it Were we buying them from like some street vendor that was walking in the door or something? I don't know where you got them from. I don't remember. <laughs> they were sunglasses. They were like, they were like, on TV, they were advertising. They blocked the blue rays. So TV was loaded with these ads. And for $100, you can have them set these blue Harry Wilson is out there, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about Mr. Show Business. There he is. Thanks for looking in, sir. You got to come down here and do a walk on sometime. People would go crazy. Harry's a big movie maker. He made one of my favorite movies. It's called The Sky is Alive. It's called The Sky is Alive. I was never spellbound by a star in sky. What is there? Oh, yeah. 
am so spellbound, darling, not by stars, but just by you. At last, my love has come along. My only days are over, and life is like a song. Nice, son. 
Is it an earthquake? Is it an earthquake? Or simply a shock? Is it the good turtle soup? Or merely the fuck? Is it the cocktail? This feeling of joy? Or is what I feel? The real Is it for all time or simply a lark? Is it for not I see only as very park? Is it for fancy not worth thinking of? Each 
She never sang this one. The German dominatrix. dominatrix. This is the end. Oh, beautiful friendship. I can't do it. And in a moment, I can't do Hildegard Knapp. Good thing. Till tonight when we looked at each other. The song, a robin sings. By starlight and not a dream, my heart and I agree. You're everything on earth to me. Something like that, right? Great request. Yeah, you'll have to find it in one of the other books. And then there was my funny Valentine. Funny for you. Do you? Do I do what? Don Messel? You play the old rugged cross? That's a great one. That's <laughs> now, you might, you might have to show us how, how that one goes, Don Messel. Oh, okay. Except every time he plays, somebody buys the instrument. <laughs> the musical instrument. Okay, here we go. Rogers and Hart. 
and they had such scope, didn't they? I mean, they did. Because there was two of them. Because there was a paycheck saying, we need the song for this, for this show. We need to have scope. Help me out with this, everybody. My funny Valentine. on the thing. What kind of shorts are you wearing? You gotta be doing something. <laughs> I took one look at Don. It's all I meant to do. And then my heart stood still. My feet could step and walk. My whip 
lips were moving tall, and yet my eyes still. Not a single word was spoken, I could tell you knew that our felt clasp of hands me so well you knew. I never lived at all until the thrill of that moment when my heart stood still. Sugar. Yeah. I've been doing that for a year. And look how great he looks. How do you? How long you been doing that? So I started over the summer. I mean, because when did you? I was big going into the summer. I still got this gut. What do you do? You eat lard? High fat, low carb. Have you tried lard? You could eat it. Just spoon it right in. Spoon it right in. I'm serious. Take a spoonful of this stuff. I feel so much better. I remember like... I just remember it being dragging at night. Now I've got energy. To, your, to all the audience detriment. Not to be, but our hearts miss. 
for them to say, right, Kevin? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where they are. Shiny as a ribbon bow, soft as the quiet snow. Love is a nursery rhyme, old as the tick of time. the morning lights, long as a winter's night, oh, makes the old heart sing. Beautiful lyrics. And I lost love as a winter. It is when you finally find it. Yes, I, I agree. I could, I could have to go. We all hope it stays that way, right, everybody? Simple is good. Some things are meant to be simple, you know? You try to understand them and you outsmart yourself. Shiny as a ribbon bow, soft as a quiet love is a nursery rhyme. We're in luck, ladies and gentlemen. Susan Peters is here. This is awesome. It's Susan Peters, and she's at Lounge Academy. She's hanging up her coat in the coat room. She's always hip. She's got the song. We're gonna do some swinging tonight. She's Susan Peters. I'm just worried about somebody stealing my coat. I'm gonna steal it. Well, we turn love as a simple thing into something very overly engineered. It's very clear. Susan Peters is here to stay. Not for a year. But ever And the movies that we know are passing fancies, and in time may go. But oh, my dear, our love is here to stay. Together we're we're going a long way. Gibraltar may tumble, they're only made of clay. Our house is here to stay. Would it be okay if I went up to the car and brought my accordion in? Well, we're, we're, hoping, we're hoping you would. Yeah, I was going to bring it. It's just for the sheer stupidity of it. It's a terrible sounding instrument. Are you kidding me? Oh, they're horrible. 
really Some good songs in this book. Yeah, one time. Oh, late. Oh, late. Where southern skies can watch with me a million eyes. Sing it to me, sing to me, sing. Oh, by of the wind. Cover me with heaven's blue. Let me dream a dream or two. Sing me to sleep, lullaby of the Somewhere. This one? Oh, okay. 
I don't know if it's in that one. Look in this one. I don't remember seeing it in this one. Fools rush in. How long does it take to look like Liz? If you see DD, Holding hands at midnight. That's your goal. Near the starry sky. Nice work if you can get it. And you can get it if you try. Strolling with that one girl. Sigh and sigh after sigh. Nice work if you can get it. And you can get it if you try. Just imagine someone waiting at the cottage door. Where two hearts become one. Who could ask for anything more? Loving one who loves you. And then taking that vow. Nice work if you can get it. And you can get it. Won't you? Tell me how. Gershwin and Gershwin. You're watching Lounge Academy. With Lounge Academy, Liz and Bill and Don and Mary and Blue. Down, uh, downtown Buffalo in the core business government lounge district. You're the donut shop. Yes. We lease space with the City of Buffalo Department of Coffee and Donuts. I like the bag. Somebody brought in some fry babies? Oh, I hope to check those out. I wanted to see those. People like those. I'm glad they reopened. They were closed. I guess they reopened. I think they're a little right now, but not far away. Kind of near Hutch Tech. We should get a big, thick sign and put the word donuts on it with an exclamation point. Really big sign. Big, pink sign. I sell the five baby donuts on Tuesday. <laughs> Your eyes, your eyes don't shine. Like they used to shine. And the thrill is gone. When your lips, when they touch mine. I'm afraid the masquerade is over, and so is love, and so Oh, 
not the same But my heart says no No, no, no No, you're not the same I'm afraid The masquerade Is over And so is love and then you want to
beautiful songs. Yeah, that's right. You could get out of a speeding ticket if you did that. Well, I have a great show. shovel out. You know, I'll believe it's snowing. I'll believe the storm when I got a shovel in. Yeah. I got a feeling we're going to... They seem awfully oh, man. cocksure of themselves about this snowstorm. You're watching Lounge Academy and WBIG TV on my Facebook wall. We're here with the Lounge Cadets. In fact, I can give you um, some of these fancy camera shots now, home audience. I can give you this shoulder shot now. We've got everybody with the cadets around the piano like that. If you're out there, and let us know you're out there. Give me the thumbs up or whatever finger you want. There we go. We got a. We got one. Somebody. Yeah, I think that was a thumb. We're going to do a two-pager. Right? I don't know if we don't have to. You want to do a one-pager? Yeah, we're going to come back. If we get it, if Bill and I get in trouble in church, it's going to be because you, because they just suggested that we do one hymn. Lyrics are right there? Short. It's in Dig Latin. And we're going to do the holy, holy, holy in Dig Latin. That's, oh, that's, a, that's a great, a great idea. Or... Just tell, just tell them it's traditional, and they probably don't know. So we're going to try it. And right? we're, where'd you get this? And we're going to say, Mr. Goldman. They got so modern, they probably don't know it. <laughs> i got to tell you, I was, at a, I was at a national endowment for the humanities 
summer camp for educators one summer for six long it weeks stopped in North streaming? Carolina. The final party we had, the professor who was hosting us, her husband was there with some of his cronies. These people were speaking in fourth declension Latin. Oh my gosh, my father. I mean, at Hi, that, I mean, it was oh, like. Uh, Hi, Michael was Eckhart. Scary, very scary. Wow. I didn't know it even existed anymore. Hi, Karen Geiger. So but this is. I don't even know. It's not a language. Karen, I know. Karen, it didn't I stop know. screaming because I'm watching it on a separate device here, so I know it's still working. So just um, I don't know. Reboot your device, and it should start working. can give you the, uh, see we let the home no, audience pick their camera angles. Which one do you want? Karen, you like this one? This is a good one for you. The corner shot. Everyone looks glamorous in that one. How fast do you want to do this one, Susan? Half fast. Go ahead, show me how fast you want.
couldn't even be glad. Susan was sad thinking of you. Help me out with this, Susan. Might never be me. Might never be cross. But nobody else gives me a thrill with all your hearts. I love you still. It had to be you. Wonderful you. It had to be you. On the wall, Nice, Susan. Peters. Susan Peters. No, we're not going to give anybody else a chance. We're going to do a couple more Susan Peters songs. I've got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. Let's just sing them. Summertime in the city? Is it summertime or hot time? Summer in the city. Not that hot time. Not that hot time. Summertime. Summertime in the city? I don't know summertime in the city. Summer, you mean summertime? Summertime. Okay. Okay. You want to do this for me, Susan? Somebody got the music? 
see, see if it's in here. Yeah, let me see. Everything's good with Susan's voice. Binders of songs. Summertime. It's in this book. It's on. Everybody turn to page 427 in their star books. <laughs> It's a 427, just like a Chevy. <laughs> well, something from Porgy and Bess. Well, this one's from Porgy or Bess. Stick around because we got a big set by Barry coming up soon. Oh, la la. Good point, Oren. I only screw it up if I have music.
Bring on the snow, summertime. <laughs> the sooner it snows, the sooner we get the spring, right? Let's get it on. Now maybe maybe with a little encouragement. Maybe we give them a little encouragement, we could get Barry to come up here and play a set. Play a set for us. How about a little encouragement for Barry? Maybe we could get him up. Get him up to the piano and he does everything. He painted that picture over there. Now he's gonna now he's gonna paint. He's gonna paint the way it sound now. Here comes Barry, ladies and gentlemen, of the jury. And then he could take out your pancreas after that. He does it all. <laughs> Feels funny not sitting on my ass. <laughs>
kind of fill out the commentary. I said you were off working the crowd. Everybody's going home because they're worried about the weather.
Deb Buckle on medical training. Did you apply it? No. Because my EMT, I'm like, you know, trying to get him down here. He's a musician. Yeah, yeah, he's one of the yeah. Irish guys. He's yeah. a Celtic the Irish. Irish. As a matter of fact, the last Saturday of the month is the Bobby Burns. Oh, the birthday. The haggis and everything. That Saturday afternoon, you know, like, yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. What is that, the last Saturday? The last Saturday of the month. That's one of the songs. I don't know the last that month. Oh, I'm going to have to change the
for the ones. I have heard that. Because I have a cassette tape, which I'm going to dig up now because I know I have with Oscar Peterson. And Song of Freedom. Yes, Hymn to Freedom. I got a couple of blazers. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty song. I love how you did American the Beautiful because you overlook because we sing it so automatically so I mean you forget how beautiful yeah, it is it's a really nice song Oh. 
thinking about that lullaby. I've, I've read that that's just universal, that all kinds of cultures, everybody has translated it. It's even in Africa, translated it in the African that probably translates And then it's Israeli, they translate it, so does it mean the Arabs. It's an Arab, it's in like Palestine. <laughs> I mean, it's just already lost it. It's just an amazing song. I love the retirement home. It's a beautiful song. Everybody loves it. Oh, man. They play it at the, I guess, at the show in the children's hospital when a baby's born. They always play it. Nelina's baby, her daughter's baby. Oh, her name's Nelina? No, this baby's name's Elsie. Oh, okay, but I like that name. It's a Scottish name. Elsie. Elsie.
Bobby and the two Bobbies might show up. Maybe someday they will. They never really tell them I'm not in church. I, I wouldn't invite them. I just said I'm there on Friday nights. <laughs> Bobby Jones says he's still doing that. I said, yeah. Oh, well, that's a interesting. Cool that's nice of you to mention it. Yeah, we like him.
Just a lady in red so I can go right on you, Miss I got a torment on my Are we still on? Yeah, we're still, are on. We still broadcasting? Yeah, we're still on. I'm watching it right here. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't been providing any commentary. <laughs>
lines, though. Where the devil are my slippers? <laughs> Isn't that the last line of that? Where the devil are my slippers? <laughs> oh, yeah. How is your so intelligent? I used to watch that stuff growing up. Rex Harrison was so cool. He wanted to, what the devil? <laughs> Get your experiences from Oh, wonderful. Nice piano. A pleasure well, you to play. Good. 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 You made it sound good. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? When it was done, you just speechless. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. They don't want right? Man, that was a fun set. <laughs> I enjoyed that. A lot. You want to do um, boom, oh. boom, I'll go Oh, yeah, show me how that goes. I'm going to show you a little bit of practice session oh. on that. Oh. I don't know else oh. Yeah, that's right, you're in front of the boonies. Boom, boom, yeah. out go, go the lights. Do you live near the lake? No, I'm over on uh, where Chetna Bridge. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you man. Know, um, do you know Annie Pascarella, the farm on power? Stick around, we got Rich Sellers coming up next. Tina, we're gonna do a little. He's gonna teach me a little blues. Blues man, Richie Sellers. And you just watch the tremendous set by Barry, Art Academy's own. Dr. Barry, they say, ah. <laughs> the words out so I wouldn't forget. It's been a long time since I played this. It's like been a long time. 40 years ago. This beginning goes like this. Is the outside box, Mary? Yes, I locked it. I'm going to show you how I this goes. Let's run, we'll just, you might, can tell by looking at it. You might want to run through some transitions. I don't know what the it's like this. It starts off after I do an introduction like this. No kidding. Boom. I'm ready 
ready to fight. Well, I've been looking for my baby all night. And if I get her in my sight, boom, boom, I'll go to lights. Man, I no kidding, I'm ready to go. When I found her, boy, don't you know? And if I get her in my sight, boom, boom, out go lights. Right, I'll probably screw it up, but what's then? Then uh, it goes like 24 bars. Hi, Tina. Music. Good night. Wait, hang on, we're gonna, we're gonna, do, I'm gonna, we're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna attempt. He's teaching me a blues tune here, then it, so then it goes like I'm gonna screw it up the first time. Some bars of stuff. Because this actually has an arrangement. Then it goes, then it comes back. I never seen. No kidding. You ready to start? Yeah. I'm gonna just go through it and then we'll go through it. See yeah, let's just go through it. I'll, I'll screw it up. But at least I'll learn it. No kidding. I'm ready to fight. Well, I've been looking for my baby all night. And if I get her in my sight, boom, boom. I'll go lights. No kidding. I'm ready to go. When I find a boy, don't you know? If I get her in my sight, boom, boom, I'll go lights. It's an F, B, flat, C kind of one, four, five yeah. progression. You want to go I'm, into another key? No, no, no. I, I well, we can go key. into I mean, a G just, from here. I just couldn't tell when it. I'll just get another. I, I just can't. No, no, no. I, I, I misspoke. I just meant I can't. I can't hear the changes. Like when it starts. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a, it's easy a to, funky kind of song like that. Yeah. Do you want to go into a different key? Because F is hard for me to sing in these days. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah whatever. Voice. Yeah, sure. Whatever key you want. How about I e? need work in all of them. Want to try E? Yeah. I mean, I, I used to do it in F, but my voice has changed. I really don't sing anymore. How about E? e? Yeah, what, any, I need work in all of them. No kidding. Now when you when you do this, am I, is that when I'm supposed to be hitting? Boom, E. No kidding, I'm ready to fight. Well, I've been looking for my baby all night, and if I get her in my sights, boom, boom, I go lights. E is better, and then and then I like the scream. And then after you do that. Are, are we still on the rhythm? A rhythm. I think that would be B flat. Where does the 12 bars start? This would be A now. E A D. Oh, so, okay, so, okay. Gotcha. No kidding. I'm ready to go. When I find her, boy, don't you know? And if I get her in my sight, boom, boom, I'll go light. I never seen my baby so mad before. When I found her, she ain't gonna be mine no more. And if I get her in my sight, boom, boom, I'll go so now, now we're in it. Now we do A. I thought I'd cheat my.
ma be this would be probably the um, um, e back to the no road. e this would be the a this would be the e no. I thought I was treating my baby fair but now she's getting into my hair and if I get her in my sight the song. Alright. The, the, this one, I thought I was treating my baby fair. That's the second verse. I'll have to, I'll have to listen, listen to it to see how, because I still don't get the... On the internet? Yeah, because I'm still... Like, you, let me play it through on the harmonica alone, a cappella, so yeah, to speak, yeah, okay. and then you'll hear how it goes. Bar blues right through from start to finish? Yes. Oh, okay. No kidding, ready to fight. Well, I've been looking for my baby all night. And if I get her in my sights, boom, boom, I'll go to lights. Baby fair, but now she's getting into my hair. And if I get her in my sights, boom, boom, I go to light. classic of himself, Pat Traver. I'm sorry, everybody, but my voice isn't like it was 40 years ago. I'm trying to bring it back, but it's not coming. It's coming back. <laughs> I don't know. For I blues, don't... that makes it better. Uh, I don't know. I wish it would come back. I, I wasn't great, but at least I can hold a pitch. I don't know if he, he's the best key for me. Did you ever... Gibson Creek Shuffle goes like this. This is a good one for piano, B flat, it's in the key. Then he goes on and on and on. That's a great tune. Gibson Creek Shuffle, Robin Ford Band. There's a lot of tunes in here, Howard. You'd like to boogie woogie. You used to boogie woogie pretty good. Well, I used to dig it when you were practicing all these tunes in the basement of Suburban Lanes with your blues band. Oh, yeah. We, I got that on... That's, how, that's the only way I know I these songs. I got that on CD. Anyone wants a copy? We <laughs> still <laughs> need a little longer. You know, who's a real toughie to get songs in with is Gaia. And she let me do that on stage with her. Oh, wow, fun. 
Yeah, she's, I mean, like, you know, she's got like 200 songs under her yeah. butt. She let me do too. He was so creative. I like playing. Mm -hmm. She was here on Tuesday. What do you mean Tuesday? Oh, yeah, God, on Tuesday. Going? Yeah. She came in. I, she I, played I, in the booth. No, I got her. To, I got her to stand there and hold the mic, but I couldn't. I couldn't get her to. Uh, it Not was close. It was close. She's a great piano player. I know. Yeah, I couldn't get her. To, wow. To, wow. We're we're streaming for the donut thing. Yeah. If, if we weren't doing that, maybe she would have. Like a jingle. Howard's Donuts, 1901L. Make you sweet. Make you treat. Get a treat. Buy them now. And they won't put a hole in your wallet. Oh, it's not for two bucks. Because they're donuts. How's she doing? She, she, she's walking around. I mean, that's amazing. She, she looked really nice. She was beautiful. Did she bring a sports car with her or something? Um, no, she had a little, uh, uh, but it was a nice specimen oh, of a. Uh, no, she looked, she looked like beautiful. Wow. She had makeup on and she just looked great. I'm glad to hear that. Cause she is, she was like she couldn't perform anymore at the end of our routine. That was like, no, no, that was like five years ago. She's now. doing something right. Good, good, good. Really glad to hear that. Facebook's gonna throw us off in five and a half minutes because. Do you have a copy of my CD with like fourteen songs? I don't know where it is. You do have. I'm, I'm sure I must. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'll listen to the songs. I'll learn the songs. Uh, yeah, Gibson, Gibson Creek Shuffle is on here. Boom Boom is on here. This is with all my guys I played with in the years. Yeah, thanks. Sure. We're here at the end of episode of Lounge Academy. Facebook's going to throw us off in about three minutes because it'll be four hours that we've been rolling. We started around before seven. Our special guests arrived a little early. We really hit the ground running today. Every Friday, right here on my wall, you're guaranteed to have a ball. And Mary's doing the dishes here on Lounge Academy with you. We'll see you next Friday. Same time, same place. ladies and gentlemen, then the people at Facebook are going to determine that the show is over. Assuming I don't use my finger to press the button and send everybody into the ether. You can see the cleaning crew is here. Mary's doing the dish. I like this. I'm sitting here doing nothing. Richie's over there sweeping and I like the way he cleans off the uh, tablecloth.
time to take out take the show out with a song. Let's see where are we here? That's, uh, Two minutes. Two minutes. Always be lounge academy, ladies and gentlemen. 